This is Baggy from Asia Boating Limited and we are uh, handling the unloading of a Princess 62 who just arrived from the UK to Hong Kong. We are waiting for the crane to start lifting. The boat is sitting on a cradle with two nylon belts. It's a very strong and one line in the front so they can control the swing of the boat. And right now it's being lifted up. You can hear the crackling noise. The road is lifted. Uh, with the line are very uh, important because they control the swing so uh, the boat doesn't swing around and, and uh, hit anything and get damaged. See the cradle of the boat is uh, made out of iron and so about six lifting points on the side. And seven uh, resting points in the middle. Uh, and it's uh, normally covered by a soft material such as soft wood or sometimes carpet or vinyl or something like that. These guys are trying to turn the boat diagonally uh, so it can squeeze through the gap here, right here. Nothing wider than this gap uh, probably can pass. Uh, so the boat is still okay. People are holding the line on two ends. So. There we go, and our crew is waiting down there in a small boat to pick up this uh, big boat as soon as it uh, touches the water. This boat is a Princess uh, 62 from the UK. It's a, it's a used boat that uh, we are helping a friend uh, deliver uh, and handle this process. Need a lot of cleaning and polishing. I think it's uh, it's been under the weather for quite some time in a big ship. There, that is the big ship, a container ship actually. Somewhere uh, they find a space to squeeze the boat. Okay, now we got the boat. Uh, 
pretty much in position to squeeze through the gap. Uh, it's a beautiful boat. You can see the deep V hull. Uh, it helps break through the waves very smoothly, very nicely. Uh, the propellers are just right. The rudder, the trim tabs, everything look very in line, very smooth, very nice. You can see it's a very well made boat. Princess yachts are uh, built in UK. They have one of the best uh, interior space engineering as well. Uh, they uh, they make uh, the use they make the best use of the smaller space. Uh, which is in the boat. Okay, I'm trying to kind of speed up. Okay. okay, the boat is swinging quite a bit, I can see. I have to probably slow down. Wow, you got see a bit more? It is a bit. Yes. The boat shouldn't be swinging like this. Uh, Swinging a bit more than usual, but uh, I think it's still in a safe range. Uh, there is not much possibility of it slipping. Uh, it's uh, well near the center of the gravity of the boat. Uh, the two uh, strong nylon straps that you can see. Uh, of course, that uh, orange color square metal thing is called as a spreader. You have to uh, have a spreader on top of the bolt uh, because if you don't then uh, then the strings or, 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 the, or the slings that we call it will, will actually squeeze the bolt and it just crumble. The bolt should work around, uh, the bolt should wait around uh, I would say around uh, 30 tons. All pound figure. It's uh, almost in a safe distance now. They should be able to put the boat down. The boat is almost touching the water. The crew over there in a small boat, so you can see waiting. Touches the water, uh, and as the propellers uh, and the rudders, they are underwater. And then the crew will jump on the boat, uh, attempt to start the boat, and if 
everything is okay, then uh, they will give a green signal and they will put the boat completely down on the water. On the water. And we can take the boat away. Right now, touch the water. Safely landed on the water. Now the crew should be uh, jumping on board. Attempt to start the engines. Uh, everything seemed okay. Uh, bottom of the hull when we checked, the propellers were fine. The, they were moving, they were, the rudders were good. Okay, I think we are... Goodbye. 